Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to set up an uh, EMR cluster. Uh, so for this, you need uh, an AWS account. Um, so I'll prefer to go to uh, the AWS uh, Educate account. So for students, uh, they will. If you sign up with the uh, university email, uh, you will get uh, $75 credit. Uh, since uh, if you launch uh, the EMR cluster and add some storage to it, uh, they will cost you some charge. So uh, you can avoid those charges with the uh, $75 credit. So let's see how to set up the EMR cluster. Uh, for that, uh, I already signed up and I'm just going to sign in to my account. So once you are uh, signed up, uh, go to this services, search for EMR, select this EMR. So now I have created some set of clusters, uh, but for this video, I'll create a new one. Uh, you can rename this cluster name as, uh, say, class cluster and uh, you can uh, leave the other options as default so for this applications uh, it depends on the task that you do uh, say if you want to do a hadoop or a hive or big tasks uh, it's good to go with the first option or even with the second options uh, you can do that uh, but say if you want to do Spark and Hadoop uh, kind of applications, it's uh, good to go with the last option. Uh, I'll go with the last one. Uh, in the hardware configuration, uh, uh, you can select M4 large uh, since it's the cheapest uh, instance type. Uh, and uh, you can create uh, three nodes, say uh, one master node and uh, two slave nodes. And uh, uh, before going to this uh, EC2 key pair, I have to change some uh, configurations uh, uh, for this. Say, so uh, I'm going to run a Hadoop, uh, Hadoop program uh, in this cluster, uh, but the problem is if you if you create this uh, default cluster, uh, it will throw some errors. So we need to uh, do some configuration changes uh, before uh, we create this cluster. So let's see uh, what we have to do. So go to advanced options. Uh, in this, uh, you can select whatever. Uh, uh, so it's more flexible now. You can select whatever application you want uh to to be installed in your cluster you can select those uh, i can even select the spark uh and uh, so in this configurations i have to i have to give some configuration settings so i will uh i will post these uh configuration settings uh in the in the in the space below uh, the video so we can copy and use it uh, while creating your cluster okay now it's good and then we have to go to next so you can leave these settings as default uh, you can select M4 large, save, and the core also M4 large. And uh, it should have two instances. And uh, go to next. So I can uh, rename my cluster as uh, class cluster. Uh, remaining options and all fine go to next
So now we have to create an uh, EC2 key pair. So this EC2 key pair is uh, uh, mainly used when you uh, want to access or uh, or uh, run your jobs in the cluster from your local machine uh, so for that uh, we need a, a private key pair uh, to access the cluster remotely uh, for that we need to create an ec2 key pair so uh, below here if you see there is some there are some links to uh, to create amazon uh, ec2 key pair so when you click on that link uh, some window will open uh, yeah, so you can go to the Amazon EC2 console. And uh, if you search for key pairs, you can find one in the network and security tab. And uh, I have some key pairs here, but I'll create a new key pair for this video. So click on create key pair and uh, say class keeper you can you can name it as you want uh, but now i'm i've given a keeper name and uh, creating it so now i have the keep keeper and it got downloaded as a dot pem file uh, then the next step is uh, for windows you need to download software called putty gen uh, you can go to this thing and download the partition uh, but for Mac uh, they have some uh, some command uh, to run that dot uh, uh, pem file uh, if you run that uh, then I think uh, uh, I think uh, it's uh, some sort of uh, uh, setting permissions to that file uh, you need to follow these steps to to uh, to access the cluster or the AWS files uh, from your local machine. Since I'm running for Windows, uh, I'll, I'll go with the partition. So I have already downloaded the software. It's in downloads. Once you open the partition, you have to click on load. Uh, I have given us class keeper. Now I have successfully imported my column key. Click OK. Uh, now we have to give a uh, key passphrase. Uh, so once you uh, once you enter uh, once you enter the uh, a remote login, it will ask for you the passphrase so it's like a password uh, so you can give like uh, any password I'm giving it as class and uh, you can save it as a private you can name it as uh, the same name uh, that we gave uh, but uh, remove this extension and uh, save now it got saved uh, now we can go to the EMR cluster setup page uh, and uh, we can select the EC2 key, EC2 key pair as class key pair and create the cluster. There are some errors in it. So I think it has to be in a JSON format. So let's try with this. Hmm. 
I will uh, fix this fix this error and uh, and show you how to do that. Okay, now I think I have fixed the issue. There is uh, some formatting issue in the while while giving this configuration. Now I think it should work fine. Uh, let's check with that. Go to next, next again, next again. Create cluster. Still having the error. Hi everyone. So I think uh, I fixed uh, the issue now. I uh, left uh, this curly bracket. So now I added it. So let's see if it is working now. Uh, okay, class D para selector. Create cluster. Uh, now you can see this uh, cluster is starting. Uh, it will take uh, another uh, 10 to 15 minutes for this cluster to get started. Uh, by the meantime, what we will do is uh, we will go to the AWS account again. And uh, we have to create a storage space. Uh, I'm going to AWS account. Sign into the console. Search for S3. Uh, now you can see I have created some data buckets. Uh, you can create a data bucket uh, to put your data files and uh, your uh, runnable jar files into that bucket. So create data bucket. Uh, the bucket name should be unique uh, from all the all the AWS uh, data buckets. So uh, I will advise you to create a, a data bucket from your ID. Uh, so say 800 uh, 454 bucket click on next these are all fine uh, uh, give it as uh, the default option give next and uh, uh, after reviewing your details if you create the bucket your uh, bucket will be created since i have i already have my buckets i don't want to create another bucket uh, so once your bucket is created if you go into that you can see you can upload uh, some files or you can create another folder and upload your files into that folder uh, so we will uh, see for an example i will create a data folder in my bucket and click on save. Now I have this folder. Uh, I can upload uh, any files into this. Uh, since uh, this cluster is still starting, uh, I will come back uh, once it got started. Now we have our cluster uh, ready and running. So we can see the cluster is in waiting state. Uh, to access this cluster anywhere, uh, we have to change some security configuration. So select this uh, option security groups for master. Inside that, uh, you should select the master group and go for inbound, click on edit. Uh, in the below, you can add rule, uh, give SSH, change custom to anywhere and see now we have the cluster ready uh, since i'm using uh, windows go to putty to access the cluster go above click on ssh uh, copy this hadoop give here I expand this ssh give authorization browse and select that uh, .ppk file I given us a class uh, to open and they ask for uh, passphrase that I gave and give it as class. Now we have our cluster ready. We can access our files or run the jobs over here and uh, for, for Linux, go with SSH command. Thank you.